Another option that's inside this media group clip section is called smart loops. Of course, you got your other sounds, but smart loops is really cool because you got some feels, you know, little various different rhythmic patterns that you can use. All right, so like I can go to this one is called a Jerry seven and I can listen to it. Hey, you might want to start your song off with that groove, right? Okay, I can go ahead and insert that in, put it there. Kind of overrode of my other thing, but it's all right. I drag this down. All right, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, maybe I want to double that. If I want to copy or loop this or stretch it out, all I got to do is just drag it. Very simple. Let's try something different. Let me add another one. Can you hear those ghost notes in there? That's pretty cool. Snare roll. Ooh, that's hot. Triple sevens. Oh, look at that's some tight feels in you all. I bet you never knew this section was here, but it's a lot of stuff that comes with cakewalk. So it's easy. You could take one of these and just, you know, put some stuff to it. Put your little guitar. You know what I'm saying? This, this is like the inspiration that you need when you can get going. Like you be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to work on. Just come in here and play with some of these patterns and like that'll give you some inspiration. Ooh, that's hot. Using those double stroke rows, baby. It's a five stroke row. So I can put that feel in there. Maybe I want to put that right here. Okay, of course, that didn't come in the right place, but you get the idea. You just play around with it and get it lined up where you want it at. And this is just like, man, you ain't got to do nothing. You just drag and drop it. I can take that and drag it down. Okay, I can stretch this out if I want to. All right, then... I hope you have been enjoying this tutorial series so far. Please leave comments and let me know if you have any questions, if you have any concerns. If